Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the Blair Witch 2 Book of Shadows. So, this is a film I don't hear many people talk about very much, but you know, recently um, I've heard more people saying they actually like the film, which I remember seeing this film in theaters back when it came out. It was a follow-up, obviously, to the success of The Blair Witch. They wanted to get another movie out there. And, you know, I'll give you all my thoughts on why I don't think this one was embraced as much as the original. But um, I've always really dug this movie and thought it was full of cool actors. And I really love the, the girl who plays Kim in it, the goth kind of psychic chick. I think she's really awesome. And anyway... I had a major crush on her too back when this came out. I was like, dang. So anyway, but she is, uh, or excuse me, the film is uh, basically a follow-up, you know, from the Blair Witch. And it's kind of meta in the fact that these characters are, are going to visit the place where the Blair Witch actually happened. So they know that this exists. They're, you know, definitely referencing the previous film and things like that. This one is not a found footage film at all. It's just a polished like theatrical release, uh, you know, that's filmed just like any other film would be. And I thought it had some great actors in it and things like that. And I actually have some notes for this one because I didn't want to miss any points, but I was going to kind of summarize the plot for you and then dive in uh, to what I, I think about. And I also have my little Blair Witch uh, figure joining us here today as well. I always love this figure from McFarlane Toys, their Movie Maniacs line, but I've always been a Blair Witch fan. I've liked all the incarnations of it, even the, uh, the new, the remake I thought was great as well. But uh, diving into the plot, so... It's November of 99, and, and basically these tourists that are fans of the Blair Witch kind of descend on the small town of Burkittsville, Maryland, which, you know, and aside real quick, I've always thought it's funny that they used a real place, which they actually talk about in this movie. They start with uh, real residents of the place talking about how people have kind of invaded it, and they're treating the place like a tourist destination. And it's funny that, that the uh, original makers uh, didn't actually you know, use a fictional place because I think it bombarded this town with a lot of crazy people going to check out, you know, uh, you know, the, the mythology and the lore and all that. And there it shows how people are selling rocks and doing all these things to kind of, you know, cash in on the whole tourist or tourism aspect of it. But, um, I'd love to go there someday. So I'd be one of those crazy people, but you know, uh, basically there's this guy who's a local resident and he, he kind of orchestrates like, a tour of locations. He has this kind of Blair Witch, you know, projects tour group and, and like a van that he drives that's got the logo on the side. And he's taking these people kind of out to the different locations. You know, they end up going out and, you know, uh, they're gonna go visit these different places. And one thing too, they end up going to the character's house and spending the night and his house is cool. It's like this abandoned location, but you know, they, they go to the house and, and they start drinking and smoking and stuff like that. And, and you basically have these characters that are kind of all over the place. There's some researchers and they end up kind of falling asleep like they're camping the first night. And they fall asleep and they have all this research and they wake up and this stuff is shredded. And they can't remember what happened, what's going on. They just know that all their research has been destroyed. So obviously they're very upset about that. And, you know, the characters end up going and that's what gets us to uh the the tour guide's house where he has everybody stay and uh you have this one character who's kind of a wiccan character and then again uh the the goth chick who's like uh the psychic so you have these different characters with different abilities and stuff like that and all kind of you know add to and, and and build up this story so um you know the people in the town are looking at them because uh, the characters go back and forth to town to get some things like they're crazy and they shouldn't be doing that and they're evil and things like that but they end up you know uh being at this house and all this crazy stuff starts to happen and again they have that night in the woods where they can't remember anything they just woke up you know not knowing what went on they just thought it was because they partied too hard that night or whatever and they don't know who destroyed all their research and all that stuff because they're writing a book. I think I left that out about this. But um, as the film progresses, it gets stranger and stranger and they're kind of a body count starts to accumulate and uh, it culminates to a big twist ending where it kind of shows you from footage that was shot in the house what has actually been going on. 
Um, again, this is kind of a psychological horror. It does have some good kills and stuff like that in it. But ultimately, uh, it's kind of just building on the mythology of the Blair Witch. Like, okay, there was this movie, there's these things, you know, uh, we know that exists, but, you know, the Blair Witch is actually real. So it's acknowledging that the movie, you know, exists and all that, but it's based on something that's real. And these characters kind of dive too deep into that. They get too involved and basically mess with things that they shouldn't and all hell breaks loose. Um, I think this movie's great. I've always enjoyed it a lot. Uh, this is a great release too. I wish there was a Blu-ray of it. There may be one uh, foreign release, something that I don't know about, but this one has a lot of special features and stuff like that. It's got a really rocking soundtrack. It's got some cool visuals, some cool camera tricks, and kind of just a nightmare type movie about what happens to these characters. And I like, again, all the actors and stuff in it, and they all have something to add to the story and all have their own part to play, which I think is cool, which all, again, you know, ends up culminating in this big kind of ending that reveals some things. So I think they actually could have kept going with this type of story and had subsequent sequels to the Blair Witch movies. So again, um, I think this movie didn't do well in theaters because... Uh, you know, people were expecting the Blair Witch. They were expecting a found footage type movie that was just as kind of terrifying and gritty as the original, but instead they got a polished kind of Hollywood production. But again, I like the direction that this went. I liked that it was different and that they had a different idea for the film. You know, the movie was successful in the box office. It did make some money. But if you look at critic reviews, even reviews on IMDb, I think it has like a three point something. And then a lot of critics panned it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely check it out. If you've never seen The Blair Witch 2 just because you've heard bad things, you know, watch it and decide for yourself. And I'd love to know if any of you guys are fans of the film as well. I think it's a creepy, great kind of Halloween style flick. I think that it's great to watch this time of year. It, it's really interesting to watch the first film and then follow it up with this one. I definitely recommend doing that as well. And uh, yeah, check it out And if you haven't. And then if you have, let me know what you think. Are you on the side of, I like it, I think it's a good film, or do you hate it and why? I'd love to know either way, because opinions are great. I love to know what people think, why they like or dislike things. So please share that below, comment, and let me know what you think about this polarizing film, The Blair Witch Project, Book of Shadows. Uh, so everybody, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed this review. And I will talk to you guys later.